Hello friends, a warm welcome once again to our YouTube channel, Need Exam Update with Guruji, English. If you're watching our video for the first time or are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe so that every important Need update and major news reaches you first. Now let's begin today's special video without any delivery. Brother, today is not just another date on the calendar. Today marks the opening of the final and most decisive door in the Neat UG journey. The stray vacancy registration has begun, and the student who understands the weight of this moment will walk ahead while others stay stuck, staring at their regrets. This round is not ordinary. This is the final battlefield where uncertain dreams turn into certain seats, where students who have cried quietly in their rooms suddenly see light, after a long tunnel of waiting, confusion, and anxiety. From today, the portal is open not only for data entry but for destiny entry, and those who are serious will treat every click, every document, every detail like a life-defining action rather than a formality. This phase is not for those who gave up after round one, not for those who broke down after round two, not for those who lost. Courage in round three. This round is for the ones who kept standing even when knees were shaking, for the ones who had no coaching but unlimited belief, for the ones who heard taunts, pressure, relatives, society, but still kept preparing documents and refreshing MCC notification page every morning. When you start filling that form today, understand that it is not a simple registration. It is your final submission of effort to the universe. Every detail matters. Every field needs attention. One spelling mistake, one mismatched document, one forgotten upload, and the opportunity that took you a year to reach may slip like sand between fingers. So do not rush, do not panic, do not assume it's simple, because nothing in NEAT counseling is simple. Students last year lost MBBS seats because they assumed, not because they were weak. Today, when you sit with your laptop or phone, take a deep breath, keep your certificates beside you, keep your mind calm, and fill the application like someone who knows this is the last official opening by MCC after this. No appeals, no requests, no excuses. Many students are still confused thinking, will I get a seat? My marks are low, should I register? The answer is clear this round is unpredictable and unpredictable rounds favor fighters. Every year, seats remain vacant. Every year, some students who didn't try cry later. Not this time, not you. Because if you are reading this, it means you have not surrendered yet. And students who don't surrender create miracles at the last turn. Students with 230, 250, 280, 320 marks have entered medical colleges in this round in previous cycles when others were busy doubting their own worth. Low rank is not an obstacle here. Hesitation is. Registration fee is not loss. Giving up is. The portal opening today is a signal. Destiny is waiting for your action, not your fear. Yes, your heart may be beating fast. Yes. Your hands may shake when uploading documents. Yes, your mind may think, what if I don't get a seat? But ask yourself, what if you do? What if this form becomes the entry gate to an MBBS classroom where you finally hold anatomy books, where you smell formalin for the first time, where you clip your ID badge proudly on your shirt, where your parents walk with pride in your village market and people say, Dr. Sahab ke mummy papa ja rahe hain. All of that begins here, from this one registration. Do not listen to those who discouraged you. They are spectators. You are the player in the arena. Spectators criticize. Players conquer. You have spent nights under a shaky fan, studied with mosquitoes buzzing around, revised notes when mind was tired, kept hope alive when nobody around believed. A student like that cannot afford to stop now. Success does not demand you to be perfect. It only demands you to refuse quitting. Today, fill the form with confidence. Checks. Details with patience. Double verify documents with seriousness. If confusion arises, take help. Ask someone, reread instructions, but do not delay and do not make careless errors. This is the final lap champions win, not by speed, but by accuracy in the last seconds. This round respects effort, consistency, silent pain, and strong heart. And when you finish submitting, whisper one thing to yourself. I did not reach this far to stop here. Because today you did not just register for a round, you registered your future. Brother, now that registration has started, the most critical and brain-draining step begins. Choice filling and locking. This step is not about clicking names of colleges randomly. 
this step is the blueprint of your destiny. Most students lose seats not because they are weak academically, but because they do not understand strategy. They do not understand the weight of each click. But you, you will not repeat that mistake. You will fill choices like someone who knows that one thoughtful decision today can give you a white coat tomorrow. When you sit to fill choices, do not come with fear. Come with data, clarity, and discipline. Keep a notebook, pen, college list, cutoff history, your category information, and your score analysis in front of you. You are not gambling. You are planning. This round is like the last overs of a cricket match. Panic loses. Patience wins. Some students will think, only top colleges, and some will waste their chance by filling only five to six dreams. But real warriors fill smart, realistic, safe, and dream combinations. Every choice is a step on a staircase. If you skip steps, you fall. Remember this. You are not filling colleges. You are filling opportunities. Start with your dream colleges. Not because ego demands it, but because your heart deserves one last shot. Then gradually include mid-range colleges, then safe options, then backup options. Let your list be long. Let your belief be strong. Students with 200, 300 marks got seats in stray because they filled wisely while others hesitated. And when you make the list, do not allow laziness. Do not say, I will do later. Later kills chances. Today builds futures. You have to lock your choices. Because unlocked choices are like dreams without execution. They vanish into nothingness. Last year, thousands cried because they forgot to lock. Not you. You will triple check. You will verify spelling. You will check state versus AIQ. You will check fee, bond, location, stipend, recognition. Because you are not entering a college, you are entering a life that will change everything for your family. Every decision today echoes for years. Yes, you might feel confused. Yes, your relatives might give random advice. Yes, YouTube comments or Telegram chats might confuse you more. Do not listen to noise. Listen to strategy. The topper of this round is not one who scored highest. It is the one who thought smartest. Write your priority order. Don't rush. Don't panic. Breathe. Then fill. You will not fill choices with fear. Fear has already tortured you enough this year. Now you fill with maturity. This portal is not just a website. It is the doorway to anatomy labs, white coats, clinical postings, hostel nights, and your stethoscope hanging proudly on your shoulder. Visualize yourself there. Feel the future. Let that feeling guide your choices. When hands shake, remember why you started. When doubt enters, remember who you are. When confusion rises, remind yourself that champions are not made in comfort. They are made in chaos. Today, you are not just filling choices. You are telling fate, give me my place. I have earned it. And when you lock your choices at the end, whisper to yourself, my seat exists and I am coming for it. Brother, now we talk about the truth nobody accepts early. Cut off will fall in stray vacancy round, and it always does. Not because miracles fall from the sky, but because this round exposes reality instead of hype. Everyone acts confident in the beginning. Everyone looks strong in round one, round two, round three. But by the time stray round arrives, the noise fades. The overconfident students disappear, and only the real fighters remain standing with faith, patience, and honesty. People laugh when low scorers say, I still have hope. But let me tell you the secret in this round. Silent believers win and loud. Doubters lose. Why does cutoff fall? Because seats remain. Colleges cannot run empty classrooms. Hospitals cannot run without interns. Government cannot waste funded seats. Medical education is supply and demand, not ego and noise. When earlier rounds finish, many seats are left due to upgradation, resignations, non-reporting, wrong document submissions, students switching to BDS, AMs, or other courses, NRI seats converting, minority quota vacancies, and late withdrawal cases. But only the patient. Ones understand this cycle. The arrogant student who said, I will only take a top college, quietly disappears. The confused student who wasted time thinking also fades. But the steady student with 250, 300, 330 marks still sits in front of laptop believing in destiny, and destiny listens. Because this round is not rank race, this round is seat survival round. Colleges don't ask in stray, show me your pride. They ask, do you want this seat? Can you commit? 
Will you show up? In round three, students defend their ego. In stray round, they defend their future. Your marks are not your identity here. Your marks are just one number, but your patience, your timing, your registration, your choice filling, that is what matters now. Let them say, neat is over. Let them think it's impossible. Let them give up. You are not them. You are the student who knows the strange truth. Low score does not mean low destiny. If cutoff didn't fall, thousands of doctors today would never exist. But they do exist. They are working in hospitals, living hostels, attending postings, wearing coats, and treating. 